what is going on everybody it's roco um welcome back to my channel today i'm continuing the the dark picture series uh this uh, I'm, I'm, this one i'm playing on dark uh pictures anthology house of ashes i really fit for me i played and and finished um man of madan and uh and little hope yeah it was awesome i i streamed uh, both games and i uploaded uh my my plays onto my my channels and and, and still if you, you guys want to watch um yeah i i will i upload them all to my video channels and uh i'm also um starting to, starting to upload my full gameplays on my facebook channel just so, just so any anybody could watch uh like like it's like say uh, on any platform you know i'll try to um uh, uh brought my extension like expanded more but yeah i'm so so excited to play this game uh i've been been meaning to get around to it for a while now but luckily uh, right now uh i got the i got the time uh yeah so now so yeah i'm streaming this on my twitch channel i'm starting to stream more uh and you know i'm, re I'm very happy about it and also yeah i'm also putting this on my v my youtube channel and, and other and my other video channels and my facebook so excited about this all right let's just dive right, right on in new story i'm challenging forgiving i was expected it's not, hmm so challenging first time. all right dark pictures house of ashes and also the uh, these games, um, the Dark Pictures series, were created by Supermassive Games. So shout out to them and the team. I enjoyed um, their their games. Uh, last game I played was um, the, the Quarry, developed by them and created by them, by, by Supermassive. But yeah, I'm really mean, I'm really excited to play this House of Ashes. But I mean, get around to it. Yes, every choice has a consequence. Always. Some decisions save lives. Mm -hmm. Others die. They die. Yeah, lead to death. Holy shit. All right, up the bat, we got what it? four severed heads. Oh, it's fucked. Okay. 1231 BC. What we got going, what we got going on here? No, I don't want to die. Silence. Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. We're in the BC area. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutens are coming, General. 
The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sand. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. We're allowed. Oh, get the choose already. By your command. We're alive. My king. Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> All right. All right. Damn. Try to get us. Already at the bat in the beginning. My force ever has now the fifth one. Going on, oh, shit. Out. Oh, was it an eclipse? Eclipse happening right now. Oh, yeah, a lot of killing going on.
gods give me strength. Oh. So make sure the guy get in. <laughs> sure, that sounds like something big. What is out there? What have you uncovered? Don't you unleash such boards? We've been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demon. The king sacked the temple at the pool. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Oh shit. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed the fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. Your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. Think I should trust you? You have no choice. I'm telling you. Let's see what choice do we have. Our choices are very limited. Before time runs out. <laughs> Follow me. There is a way out through this tomb. Tomb? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Go. Oh shit. What's been what's beyond there? Oh, I remember this. I remember that. Stay quiet. <laughs> Oof. Well, that would get difficult. Okay. Just a rat. Oh, just a little rat. Holds death for nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. All right, our two, uh, oh, the same as the last two games, Man of Madonna and uh, Little Hope. All right, examine. Oh. A roach, beetle. Find the secret 
exit. Search the catacombs. Okay. Damn. Okay, let's start. Gotta find a way out of here. Oh, I was just looking this up. Back. We are cursed. What are our own actions? Why did your king create the temple? The same story that history has taught us. For gold. For glory. For greed. All right, let's keep searching. Oh, yeah, and what's this? Oh. Arson. Let's do this one more time. Hmm, okay. That's a little clue. All right, let's... Anything else? Let's see. Oh, I right, looked at that. What's this? Oh, the same thing. Okay. All right, we gotta get, we gotta get up on out of here. Yeah, I right, check that. Okay. How much going around? Oh, I'm going around in circles. Okay, I gotta search for a way out of here. This leads like a, is this like a well? Jump in. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna keep going around in a circle. Yeah, find more clues. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, let's be on this door. Help me with this. Say with authority, you first. <laughs> what is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Uh, the is both of us. That's a team up. Enemy of my enemy is a friend. We help each other. It's all. It's all we got. There is always hope. All right. If monsters up in here, we're gonna at least gotta take them on together. All right. Let's keep. Let's go. Let's go down this hall. How many ways into this tomb? Look around. Need more clues. <laughs> Okay. Clues. All right, just at the store. At the store. Here. Holy shit! Oh my god! It looks so enormous. Come, 
running. Fuck out of here. together no if we both run then we both die ready your sword okay well we shook on it we work to work together work together fight together die together let's let's go let's do it <laughs> fast what is that Updated. Last to die in the times. <laughs> well, they agree we gotta fight this together. Survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. <laughs> My third time seeing the curator. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. No, no, man, do that now. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My 
purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Alright, we're in Iraq 2003. That's like, this is the invasion, the invasion of Iraq. Uh, it's in Cadillac with the Air Force. Colonel, good trip. Air King, Lieutenant Colonel, National Insecure, U.S. Army Air Force. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Air. Patient. Hmm. Is my briefing room prepped? Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Uh. Assistant? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Cold check. First lieutenant. Cold check. Well, the briefing room? Ah, what it? Oh, no, no. What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? I thought it was the same, I thought it was the same people. Okay, this Rachel King say CIA field officer, commanding abrasive. A K Sergeant Marine uh, Defense Informatic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you. You've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Oh. Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel, are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. I went to home, reluctant. We should put this on ice. Mm. Your separation. Ease away. Baby, I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. See you, Nick. Promise. Um, guys, easy slide run, easy ride down in to tell uh, the, the spouse. 
I'll see you at the briefing. Oh, there that is. But to be fair, they've been in part for a year. I could happen in here. All right. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. It blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA, right. we've got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. To the briefing room. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. Around. All right, so we're part of the United States government with CIA and we're in Iraq 2003. I believe I'm not sure. It doesn't specify like is it like the third of the uh, American America's invasion of Iraq or we're in like like further along into it. It doesn't really specify. Uh, specify. Okay. Oh. See you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Merwin. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? Wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So, what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Is it polite, Tamara King? Commander? And is it my, my authority? Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. Then stone right there. Lay down. Shit me, right? Lay down the rank. Crap, he's not shitting me. Alright. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Hmm. <laughs> I think maybe he still loves her. No, to be apart for a year. That's my wife. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Nice work, hot shot. Holy shit, what's been what's been going on here? Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> she's gone up in the world. <laughs> now, she, now you know. <laughs> I like to think of it as a term of endearment. Alright, what's in this case? Have secret.
Brett, is it? Oh, I thought it was like I thought, I thought it was gonna pull something out. Top secret. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. All right, let's look around. What is this place anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. What's this? Oh, that's exactly what it is. I guess you damn like to get down. Ooh, okay. Uh. I think his dance partner stepped on his foot. It'd be an instant. Well, let's get, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, uh, this is the back? Okay, no back. As long as you don't step on my foot. Okay, I'm talking. Okay, I'm talking. Okay, a survey. Uh, what? I was gonna read that. Okay, okay. Up here comes the wifey. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear with me first. Hmm. Let's take a nice approach. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? All right, presentation. Briefing room, Eric. It's 100 hours. All right, let's... What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. What a jackass. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast. Could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Uh, air escort. Small. Why not air support? Yeah, any all support is welcome. Put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. 
This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. <laughs> Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Hmm. Huh. But it's my big brick uh, operation plan here. Range. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. Oh, I just had to tell him. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. Oh, wait. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rage. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. Is five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. All right, if we have to download, speak to team, inspect the briefing room. All right. All right. Let's check it on. Let's inspect the room. What's this? Okay. Got a map. Let's Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Syria. Right, like a plan of operations. U.S. command, Polish command, U.K. command. Under provision, Iraqi control. Expected to be placed under Iraqi control in 2007. Okay. Turkey. Oh yeah, Turkey and Iran. And Kuwait. Hmm. Get some equal equal split power of command by the US and UK. And it looks like some tiny parts by the Polish. Alright. Alright. Let's see. What's interesting to uh, finds we can look at okay talk to okay what's this all right what's this the weapon oh. hmm is this what i think it is wp sir white phosphorus Ooh. it's just for popping smoke that's all Oh shit. Right about that. It's for cover. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. I heard a lot about white phosphorus. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. 
All right, so we're in Iraq 2003, trying, uh, trying to disrupt Saddam Hussein's plans. We got help from got a lot of U.S. government from military, Air Force, the CIA. All right, uh, what's this? Oh, the letter. I didn't. Okay, uh, oh, it's a different one. Urgent results needed to acting CEO Rachel King. Confidential. Having an operation today. Mission success. Operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have engaged to end the threat to the international community from Iraqi WMD weapons of mass destruction. Until we prove that threat, we cannot just rightfully justify the invasion under international law. The session of hostiles, the risk of regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies in the International community needs reassurance that our intelligence, intelligence service services are sound. We look forward to your report signature um, by Simon Fuller, SG Operations Head, Director of Human Intelligence, DIA, of an intro personal. Yes, no. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, we can talk. Let's talk to you. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Now you want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Afraid of heights? Uh, so you're my technician? Correct it. Hmm. Tell me, Corporal. Are you afraid of heights? Please. I'm Force Recon. I'm trained in high altitude, low opening parachute jumps. Hostile conditions that would make most men wake up screaming for their mama. You paint quite the picture. I hope you're more than just mouth, Marine. We'll see. Oh, so I hope so too. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Okay, this is a good letter. I didn't get the read. The grids. First one: organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces. The UK, uh, the US, UK, and and us. The so United States, United Kingdom, Australia. Fly intelligence enterprise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations related to weapons of mass destruction. Organize and direct war operations. I get the Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. Oh, okay, we get to finish. So, like, for, so now it's like a limited time for can like spec everything. What? What? You wanna ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper. He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? 